a unique perspective uh, because, uh, you know, I'm Jewish and I happen to be uh, one of the most banned and censored person uh, people in this country. And so, uh, you know, I just wanted to talk about the cancel culture and, uh, you know, the act of debanking and deplatforming uh, from my perspective because, uh, you know, I was really one of the first people that uh, experienced all of this cancel culture. And uh, I would just say that, um, you know, I can sympathize uh, with uh, anybody who's had uh, their voice silenced. I don't think that uh, censorship is the answer, no matter how uh, much you disagree with another person or how offensive you may find their statements or their arguments to be. And what we need in this country is more free speech. Um, And I say that, um, you know, as a Jewish American woman watching this stream and, you know, uh, watching the plague of cancel culture that has really swept not just our country, but the entire world over these last few years. Um, And I will say that being Jewish has never uh, saved me from being canceled. It never uh, stopped the banks from shutting down my access to my bank account. Uh, Being Jewish never Uh, you know, prevented me from uh, becoming, like I said, the most banned woman in the world. So I just wanted to make it clear that, um, you know, while, you know, there's no disputing the fact that groups like the ADL and APAC and, uh, you know, powerful, um, you know, left-wing Jewish individuals, and in some cases, right-wing Jewish individuals themselves are advocating for cancel culture, um, there are Jews themselves who have also been canceled. Yeah, you shouldn't be penalized for what other people have done. I, I, Martin Luther King said that, and I agree with it. So, yeah, you called yourself more like Martin Luther King the other day than Malcolm X. I tend to agree with that. I like Malcolm X. I've read his writings, listened to him, incredibly smart intellectual. He was downtrodden. He was telling people to stand up. He was an amazing revolutionary for his time, an amazing man. But I think Martin Luther King was more powerful, and even Malcolm came around to his worldview of thinking. So my issue is, it's the same thing we're talking about here, is that is that you know Laura Loomer has been censored, Laura Loomer has been attacked, and Israel has the most draconian COVID shots against their population of any group. So I'm saying, why aren't they exempt? Because there's a criminal group posing as them. Christ talked about this. That is that is trying to manipulate and pose as the leadership of every group. There's groups that claim they lead the black folks that aren't caring about blacks. There's groups that claim they care about white people that aren't really caring. There's groups that claim they're Jewish that don't. I think that's really what we're talking about. You disagree? I agree. And as you as I talk about, I think about it, it's like I gotta say, I love the Zionist. I love the people that that blocked my bank account because God runs the world and uses everyone. There's a power structure under God that starts with the thousand-year-old family, such as the Medici's. Then it goes to the Vatican, which is in bloodline to Peter, not Paul. Uh, then it goes to the financial groups, BlackRock, Vanguard, and then to the governments, where we can go into Putin territory. And then it goes to Hollywood, the Rahm Emanuel. That is the first smoke screen to get past. And we're just breaking down those smoke screens. Hey, Ari, how you doing, Ari? Hey, I will. I, I want to jump in really quick, and I will say. <laughs> yeah, Laura, you're on the air. Uh, oh, go ahead. In the blacklisting of, uh, you know, people like Yay, people like Alex Jones, people like Nick Fuentes, people like myself. You know, everybody watching should understand we're living in a dangerous time now where people are being shut down and having their money frozen, okay? Imagine not being able to access your bank account because somebody in a boardroom decides that they don't agree with what you're saying. And so, uh, you know, for people who are critical, uh, you know, of Yay, Nick, Alex, myself, or whoever, right? Uh, just, Just think of how fast the tables could turn. And I think this is what you've been talking about for years, Alex. You've been warning people about what's coming for years. And now people want to act like, oh, well, how did we get to this point? Censorship is the reason why we've got to this point. Okay, so, you know, these things wouldn't be happening if people weren't being censored. Well, sure, Laura, can I ask you this question? Because, you know, you're a, you're a smart, uh, you know, successful pro-America Jewish lady. That, that You know, it's an American that lives in Florida. From my experience studying what goes on politics, aren't Jews like everybody else, like left-wing, right-wing, and different factions fighting with each other and everybody else? like any other group. I mean, I understand there's powerful groups in Hollywood and all these mafias, but it's like we don't blame Italians for the Italian mafia. And when I criticize the Jewish mafia, who's one of the most powerful in the world, which I don't like, I don't dislike because they happen to be Jewish, happen because they, they're, they're a mafia. 
that's really how I think we destigmatize it. Just say no to the mafia that is the ADL in Hollywood. Or do you disagree with that or agree or you want to say something? No, I, I, look, there's factions within any group, all right? I don't think it's, I don't think that you can really generalize any group. I think that when you look at the demographics of Jews in America, over 73% of Jews vote Democrat. And so when you see a lot of, uh, you know, people making decisions who happen to be uh, Jewish, it's coming from a left wing perspective. But I'm a nationalist, you know, I'm a nationalist and I'm Jewish and I've been a very strong supporter of President Trump. And that's the question. Why were they so scared of you? Because you've been as much banned as me or even more. I mean, they have come after you. Why do they what why are they scared of Laura Loomer? Because I'm a free speech absolutist. And uh, regardless of what somebody may may say, even whatever they may say about Jews or whatever they may have to say about Israel or Judaism, I'm not going to advocate for anybody to be silenced, anybody to be banned, or anybody to have their accounts shut down or their money frozen simply because of their viewpoints. This is America, and we need to promote free speech absolutism. And we need our politicians to start promoting free speech absolutism. And this is what I ran when I ran for Congress twice in Florida, the first time in Trump's home district, which was actually the most Jewish district in the country, and then most recently in District 11, you know, I ran on a campaign of free speech absolutely. No, I know you do. So what about a, what about a First Amendment or for a Bill of Rights party, well, you know, that, that, that could transcend party lines? What about a free speech pro to self-defense, a First Amendment, Second Amendment party? I mean, how do we fix this, Yay? Uh, we fix this with the word of Christ. The first book of Moses called Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. That's where we start. And they know that, that's why Prometheus shows that. All right, Laura, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, y y y closing comments or yay? I want to move on to Laura, Holly. And thank folks. you very much for calling and talk later. Thanks a lot. All right, All so right, good. Yeah. That's that's All good. Right. Uh, great, you Nick, you want, Nick, you yeah, see you in Florida. You want to say something before we go to Ollie, Alexander, and Owen? Yeah, I want to jump in and say that um, I uh, I agree. I think, though, that it's not so much about the Bill of Rights. I think it's really more about Christianity. I think that what America needs is a Christian party. Oh, I agree. Politically, it's about our freedoms. But you're right. Christ is first. Right. And and it gets to the nature of Judaism, oh, shit, I I muted. which is the fact that Jews do not what believe up, that Christ was the Son of what God. Up, and in fact, they're Let's the only it. group that hate Jesus. Muslims see Jesus as a prophet. Buddhists, Hindus see Jesus as a spiritual figure. Jews write in their Talmud that Christ is burning in hell. They they don't like the cross. Well, they I think that's because he's kind of was taking over the thing. So at the end of the day, we worship a Jew or we say he's not really a Jew. It's not the same thing, though, because the kind of Judaism that we have now is not of the Old Testament. It's of the rabbinical oral tradition. So these people are worshiping. They're, they're not following the Old Testament. They're following the Zohar and the Talmud and all that. That's right. Exactly. So, so I, well, I mean, we, people should read that for themselves. What about Holly Selassie? Because this is what happened to Kyrie Irving, and it made me really mad because when I was a kid growing up reading comic books and stuff, I, was, I could read really early. When I was like five, I could read like a 10-year-old. When I was 10, I could read like a college student. And so I, I put down comic books when I was about eight because my mom had all these history books. and with, with Some of them were picture history books, but I started reading those. And it's like a fact that Solomon married a bunch of black women. It's a fact that Ethiopia was Jewish. It's a fact that North Africa was Jewish. It's a fact that that went on. And then Kyrie Irving puts out a video explaining that a bunch of North African blacks are... Uh, intermarried and part Jewish, and Israel lets a bunch of blacks in because they can prove that their lineage, their names are Jewish names. So how is it anti-Semitic, and how does the ADL say it's anti-Semitic for black people who are related directly to King Solomon and King David, the line of Judah, which Haile Selassie was the leader of, of Ethiopia. That's where this whole movement comes from. To act like they don't know this, I'm not blaming Jews for this, I'm blaming the leftist ADL. To deny black Jews their heritage is a historic fraud. It's a damn historic fact. It's on Wikipedia. It's not even debated. It's true, but it's not just the leftists. It's the right-wing ones, too, you know, because in Israel, 
Ye was just showing me a clip the other day where they are racist towards the Sudanese or Ethiopian black Jews that immigrated to Israel. They kick them out. There's quotas. Well, I mean, Israel's even mean to the Hasidic Jews now. I mean, that's what I'm saying. They're waging war. Right. So, so, and I, I agree with you. And what they've done to Kyrie Irving is just to say. Hey, Dr. Zelenko, beautiful person, wonderful guy. Mm. He'll tell you. He goes, yeah, that's it, it, what runs Israel's evil, and so is your groups. Ben I mean, Shapiro just mad that Kyrie won't sign his basketball. Back to you, Nick. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, so, but what, what about that issue? I'm sure you know about Haim Selassie and, 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 and Kyrie Irving. Your, your, your take on Kyrie. That's my brother. And I love the fact that just like now, you, it felt like you were in this battle by yourself, but now you got two warriors alongside of you like gargoyles at the s top of the buildings in New York ready to fight for Christ. And when Kyrie put up that information, they always want to write me off and say, yay, it's just so crazy, so crazy, so crazy. And then Kyrie was like, okay, here goes some information right here. Information is the unlock. There's five elements that the 1% the elites use to control the 99% which are the masses. Those elements are water, food, shelter, medicine, and education. Which one of those five elements are the most important? Education. Because with the knowledge, you can go get water, you can go get food, you can get shelter, and you can get medication. They don't want independence. I agree. And Kyrie fought for something. And then also, you know, for me, Ky well, Kyrie, I love Kyrie. He he did what his job was. They had the Hebrew Israelites in front of the game. And now the high schools, I always think about the high schools. I always think about the future, the grammar schools, the high schools. These are the people that are going to change our lives. So the high schools are asking questions. People are running around saying, oh, yay, it's racist. What is the term racism was created and I think uh, the, 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 the construct of racism was created. The communist Russians. Yeah. And it's like the whole woke culture, the idea of the white man did this, the Jewish guy did this. Now I'm saying specifically the bankers. I think my misstep in the tweet was to pinpoint a people as, a point, as opposed to pinpointing the devil and the effect that the devil used to have that. But more than that, it was my disobedience to God that forced me into the whale's stomach, as I am right now. But it's only my obedience to God that's going to bring me out of the whale's stomach. Well, let's elaborate. You're not walking back what you said. You are clarifying it, which is key. It's evil in the hearts of men and women that's a problem. And, and so you're not walking it back. You're clarifying. This is big. Let's clarify Satan, the angel. God's one of his favorite angels, one of the most powerful angels. The most powerful. Yeah. Satan. That's what I like. The most powerful angel, Satan. And, and he brought angels with him when he left heaven, right? How many angels did Satan bring with him? 33% of them. So he brought billions of angels with him. So angels, I mean, uh, Satan has 33% of God's warriors with him working for Satan. But God runs the world. And it's Satan that that gets inside of the Zionists and makes them do evil things. But uh, uh, these are these are stories because I'm, I'm a baby Christian, right? But I heard that, you know, God loves me so much. He loves me so much, right? Then I go to drink champs and I'm drinking. And the Bible says, king, don't drink, right? I know it's not Milo. I know I'm not saying it in correct, perfect English. But the Bible says, king, don't drink. And I'm drinking and I'm smoking, and, I, and I'm using my ego because I'm tired of I'm tired of these like fed. Uh, You're like I'm lit. I'm let, lit. Let, let me say I'm tired of these fed celebrities trying to pick on me, thinking that they gangster. We not in high school, Meek Mills. We not in high school, Puff Daddy. We not, and everyone thinks that they're so much more gangster, like they got me in some way. Ain't none of y'all more gangster than God, and God got me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying that. Oh, no. Everybody yeah. posing, acting tough is nothing. If you're, yeah, yeah, you yeah. talk about rebel, black sheep, yeah. I mean, you're definitely it, buddy. Yeah, y'all yeah, 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 not, not tough to me. But I'm drinking, and then I start saying stuff that doesn't please God, right? It wasn't the Zionists. It wasn't the banks. It's God set me back. But the fact that, the fact that I still had 400 million and Forbes couldn't get around it. It showed God loves me, but he just had to, he had to set me back a little. Well, it's bit. a Jobian proverb. You're going through a yeah. Jobian trial. Yeah, because since I lost my wife, right? 
since I lost my family and I was no longer the priest right in the middle of that home and I didn't have the say so over the content that my kids watch and what they and what they wore and where they went to school and how we went to church and what they ate I was frustrated and I let the devil come and get me I let the devil pull me in next thing you know I'm at I'm at New Year's Eve parties having threesomes I'm like God was so mad at me he said I empowered you I gave you every skill set you're like Moses you saved Caesar's life in battle twice you know it, you might stutter you might, might not be the best communicator but you're a leader yay and you're down there you're not representing me you're drinking you're having sex and you know what and, and God he, he waited on me he let me go you know eight months into the year but it wasn't until I bragged about serving Satan with the actions that God said, I got to set you back now and set you straight. And then, so we're moving my school, we're moving the Donda Theology Engineering University into a church. And we were there talking with the pastor and then a homeless gentleman came in and was talking to us. And I said, is this a plant? I don't know, but this was the greatest theologist that I've met. And I had him come to a Bible study. Um, we, were, we were working on the, the, the walk to the house. I don't like to call it a campaign. We are working to the walk to yeah, the house. Yeah, hold on. This is a hard break at the end of the hour. Stations rejoin us. I skipped the other break. We got to have this. We're back in two minutes. We got to okay. do this hard break. And I asked, do you want to put a website out where people can actually hear what you have to say? Or? I want you to remind me what I'm saying so I can give this explanation. No, no. Theology. You told me on the phone the story. The, 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 uh, no, I need to tell the people, though. No, no, you will. I'm, I'm going to remember. It, it, it's the amazing homeless guy comes in. Yeah. And he gives you this incredible I, word. All right. I, I all right. don't care about the website. I care about Jesus Christ and people knowing that. I get it. But they also got to know where to actually find what you're actually saying. No, I just only place to find it is in the Bible. My, web, my website is the Bible. Nick, where, where do people find what you're doing? Cozy.tv slash Nick and the Bible. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm just trying to like, all right. Hey, it's all about free speech. We'll be right back. Hour number three with Yay and so many more. And we've got Owen Schroyer and Ali Alexander loaded, ready to go in the other studio, 10 feet through that wall. So they're coming up. Hour number three of the most banned broadcast in the world, straight ahead. Free shipping at okay. InfoWarsStore.com. Put this on mute real quick. Yikes. Okay, so in that portion, it was a, it was a lot better than the first uh, portion that we reacted to. If y'all were in the, the the first part, the part one of this live stream where Kanye was doing all sorts of voices and we were reacting to the reaction on Twitter, that shit was weird. When people were calling him crazy and out of his mind in that portion, you could actually see where he was off the rails. In this portion, Alex Jones and the lady that was on the phone brought everything back down to earth and to a level well some people will be like they're saying some crazy conspiracy shit but they're they're saying some shit that you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna sit here and debate at all i don't know if these are things that are for youtube uh oh monetization still on surprisingly you know i have to be careful every time i'm on youtube youtube you know when it comes to people like this they may be they may be spitting facts but youtube's a pussy ass platform i'm gonna keep it a stack I come out here and I, I speak in code a lot of the times because I know not being deplatformed again, not taking those risks, but the message is still going to stay consistent, just going to be a little hidden. It is what it is. Reviewers are going to have to hear that. I don't give a shit. I don't want to come on the platform and be like, okay, we're we're held between these guidelines of what we can and cannot say. So we're just going to say what they want us to say so we can get paid. I'm not doing that. We're going to work within the guidelines a smart way, but still get the message off the same way. We're on a slight two minute break between the, the info wars commercial. But as soon as we get back, we're going to react to all of this. Usually I have way more insight to the reactions because I watch them first and break it down. This is live right now. So I'm just, we're just going with it on a, on a whim. Not much insight. I don't know why um, Kanye is dissing Diddy and Meek Mill. But it is what it is. Let's hear this commercial real quick. Oh, no. I thought it was. Never mind. What is this? Actually? Where do we say that? We never said that. They just say 
we said that. But where's the clip? Where's the article? Where do we say that? It doesn't exist. Alex Jones is playing a character and is a performance artist. Jones is playing a character on his radio show. The radio rants of Alex Jones are just an act. They try to say the same thing about um, Andrew Tate. All of his rhetoric, he's just playing a character. They're lying to you because they think you're stupid. And it's all based on a custody battle with my ex-wife five years ago. And she was trying to put into evidence me dressed up more than a decade before like the Joker, being sarcastic, saying, take your Prozac, kids. Take your illegal drugs, too. You'll die. It's fun. So people wouldn't take drugs. And they wanted to enter that in evidence. They look, he's insane telling kids to use drugs. And my lawyer went, when Jack Nicholson plays the part of the Joker, no one thinks that's really Jack Nicholson. So yeah, when I've been Cobra Commander, Hail Cobra! or Optimus Prime, Autobots, let's roll, or the Joker, because I can do imitations of them all really good, or Darth Vader. Don't act so surprised, globalist. You didn't think you could silence the American people, did you? What? Do I really think I'm Darth Vader? No. Do I think I'm Optimus Prime, Cobra Commander, the Joker? No. And clearly, no reasonable person would think when I'm doing satire that what I'm saying is what I really think. No one believes the Babylon Bee. It's not trying to lie to you. It's being sarcastic. Buy yep. the Vaccinate Me Elmo doll today. It's required by the CDC. But they play those games. And that's why I don't joke around as much as I used to. Even though I tell people, okay, this is a joke, this isn't serious, they clip it out. Yeah, and that's, they that's say, what's No, this is what he really believes. Every day when I leave work, I do this. Yeah, it sucks because even when you're doing these type of live streams and you're trying to communicate a message, when you're sarcastic or you're being satirical, people don't get it all the time. Unless you are, when you're joking, you have to specifically outline your joking and that kills the whole joke. But some people don't get it you isn't a real thing and isn't something i'm actually saying and you know that you're insulted right now i'm even explaining that to you and so am i but that's who these people are you don't know the power of the dark side <gasps> am i really darth vader i think i'll show some all right we're gonna get back to this when the the commercial is done um some of the comments aren't popping up on the chat on the screen so this this the screen is useless right now um, Tim Simmons, what you're saying, I'm not going to debate either. There's a lot of definitions that are altered when it comes to looking up Semitic groups. Uh, what the Semitic people are, or who are the Semitic people? What is, what is an anti-Semite? It's been redefined so many times when you look on, when you just Google and you look on all these uh, different definitions on different websites. And then when people get on the air, they always have these definitions of what an anti-Semite is. And it's always this arbitrary ass pull. And I'm like, what the hell? This ain't consistent with what we see elsewhere. But it is what it is. I'm not here to debate it. I'm not religious myself. People say it's deeper than religion. It's bloodline. It's God's chosen people. And I'm like, that still goes back into religion somehow. It is what it is, man. I'm going to take a quick break. Hold on, y'all.
Now, let's cover this while I have y'all, while we're waiting for InfoWars to get back to the Kanye West interview. Let's cover this Chris Brown shit. I wanted to speak on this for a while. All right, so um, Mia Khalifa's calling out Chris Brown, saying she's he's um, a serial abuser, talking all that shit on, on, on Twitter, trying to get some attention, going for herself again after she made some dumb decisions in her life. But this went viral. Chris Brown speaking about the Rihanna incident. And not a lot of people have tapped into his actual recollection of what happened. Keep in mind, Chris Brown was a 19-year-old young man at the time. And this is his only offense in relation to that. And people try to act like, let's just get into it, man. So I will will give her the option of, oh, you can look at my phone. So I gave her the phone. times when these incidents occur the women actually get physical first and then the man makes the mistake of getting physical in return so that's what happened there nobody really actually heard chris brown out there everybody actually had the speculations to act or speculated that something like that had happened but chris brown has been fighting through cancellation forever putting out hit records consistently every year and kind of breaking through again so they canceled his uh performance at the um, AMAs, but that had nothing to actually do with Chris Brown. It had more to do with the conspiracy behind Michael Jackson. We're going to break that down in another show. Um, shout out to um, Aaron Carter, RIP. He actually spoke out in defense of Michael Jackson along with Macaulay Culkin to bring that conspiracy full circle to show that their parents were, you know, trifling motherfuckers trying to get uh, money out of the whole situation. Aaron Carter spoke on that. But now we're back to this breakdown. And this was the tweet. That Mia Khalifa for this dumb son of a bitch in the comments that can talking about this is a clown show and blah, blah, blah. And we don't got the facts. This is the tweet right here. All right. We got the specifics and the shows on a whim. You dumb son of a bitch. Get the fuck out of here. All right. Next. <laughs> Yaga situation. You made a great point during a break earlier about how they just need a new devil. But that's a devil to distract us from the fact that we become the devil. And that's kind of what you said. Can you repeat that? Yeah, I just saw people making videos about it, and I said, it just seems like it's just more noise and mayhem and uh, code red and things to get people outraged. As I said before, every form of pornography is only one, is only 
10 years away from pedophilia. Anybody that's watching pornography, if you're watching a woman have sex on camera, she's reliving the trauma of being molested. Like a greater majority of women that end up being strippers, prostitutes, or, porno or pornographers, adult film stars, have gone through the trauma of experience ped experiencing pedophilia, but sex is a legal drug that's pushed to destroy humanity. If you drive down the street in California, they will be pushing strip clubs, they're pushing alcohol, they're pushing sex. It's, uh, this is like- You were with Amber so Rose. people that have this moral code You wife Kim Kardashian. Pedophilia, but no moral code about strip clubs, pornography, and the sex industry, it's not what the Bible says. The Bible says that all of that is wrong. So Jesus said so, or Jesus said no. That's when we just need to find so Let me ask you this. What about world population? The globalists say there's too many people. They want to sterilize us. They want to promote transgenderism. They want to depopulate us. Uh, do you think that that's uh, accurate? Or, 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 I mean, what do you think of the New World Order and its overall agenda? I believe so. I'm more of a gut-feeling person. Like I said, I'm the battering ram. Um, and you guys are the SWAT team to come in afterwards and then give the information. God has people, different kind of... Um, different kind of warriors, different heights, different mindsets, different colors. Um, and our, our collective agenda needs to be to serve God and what we do. And he's going to can't do that. If we don't have an open free debate. What'd you say? I'm sorry. We can't do that. If we don't have an open free debate. And that's what we have. God brought, brought us here. You created this platform, the InfoWars. I heard about the legend of Alex Jones from this lady named Tracy Romulus, Tracy Gwynn, who is faking like a Christian, is really, you know what? Much love to Tracy Romulus and Tracy Gwynn, because this is the type of person I will sue. I'm just gonna say, I prefer that person not be next to my children. So much love and Jesus, God bless your family. I would prefer that that person be not next to my children. Next person, next subject. Balenciaga, though, you were going to, I mean, just overall, what do you, because obviously you were with a lot of fashion brands. Now all the stuff's come out. It's almost like they did this on purpose as a PR stunt. I think so. You know, I'm friends with the head designer, uh, and I believe that it was a setup. I think it was a hit job. And now all of a sudden, everyone is so outraged and focused on Balenciaga, but then we're still aborting our kids. We're still fornicating. We're still, um, we're still killing each other. We're still listening to music that promotes that. But oh, we don't, we don't wear Balenciaga now. Y you shut the hell up. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, what are you doing? You're throwing stones. Oh my God! But you know our moral code. We just, we just cheated on our wives. We just, we just fornicated. We just had threesomes. We just bought some sex on Instagram. We just sold some sex. We used sex to sell a product, but we don't like Balenciaga. Shut up. Shut up. I'm throwing the tablets right now. Shut up. Instagram is about prostitution, and everyone involved in any version of the sex business is as bad as the pedophile. So everyone shut up. Yeah. I'm listening. Yeah. So... I'm thinking of all the thousands of topics we can cover in the limited time we have as you're about to get on a plane and go back to another state and do some new stuff. Uh, what else is on your radar? Because there's a lot. What do you think about the Ukraine war? What do you think about the devaluation of the dollar? What do you think about FTX and Bitcoin? There's so many topics. Nick? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, in terms of Ukraine and Russia, I haven't really seen so much of that in the news. I'm, of course, pro-Putin. I'm very pro-Russia. Um, I know, am also. Let's go. Yeah. Um, you know, you see that this is just an extension of the United States, neocon establishment, New World Order type stuff. Um, what does Putin say about America's value system? So he said in a speech when he annexed those uh, two breakaway provinces and he annexed the Donbass, he said in a speech that we have totally abandoned traditional values, traditional faith, and that we've actually embraced full on Satanism. And he's totally right. And, well, it's true. America's embracing Satanism. Yeah. and, and but, this, but Jesus yeah. is alive. And these things are going to pull. It's it's a, a movement. God, the devil is a defeated foe. We're not even going to speak any of that into existence. God runs the world. And it's freedom fighters for Christ like us today that are going to stop it right now and say, we got to start here. Each one of us, we are the church. We are the priests of our homes.
All the men's are the priests of the homes, and everyone is the body of Christ. And we start here. Sin, it's like we're a glass of water, and sin is like throwing acid and used plastic and uh, stepped on bugs in a glass. And then you want to pour some water in, and it tastes it tastes bad. So what you want to you want to cover it with an alcohol flavor or with some food coloring or with a sexy outfit or something. And then you want to just keep on drinking that sin and not understand why your stomach is hurting in the morning. And uh, uh, I know as a recovering alcoholic that. You know, a, a cure for a hangover is another drink. The only and time Kanye seems like he's spitting. Doing. We're all orphans. Of he, only time he seems like he's spitting is when he's like copying Kyrie's talking points. The ideas that we have for Other than that, the newer version, just... the amended con constitution that me and Nick are rewriting and working on right now. And the ideas of purifying our system because we need will and expertise. Well, let's talk about that. You say you're gonna run for president 2024. I'm not, no, Alex, you're really good at stating things in a way that you get you sued, so. <laughs> no, I thought you were, you're announcing for president, right? No, I'm not announcing. Uh, uh, Alex, love you, love you, love you. What I'm saying with the conversation that we're having about a possible 2024 uh, walk and a victory at the office, America, I'm putting everything on the line for the truth to bring you a cleaner system. Our system has been dirtied and muddied and destroyed. I am not the old I am not the most knowledgeable Christian and I'm not the most knowledgeable politician, but I am truthful. I'm nobody's heart. No, no, I believe that what I was trying to get to is what is your platform? And you text me your platform, it makes a lot of sense. Well, it's, it starts here with the Bible, and we're going to work through this with our designers. We're going to approach America like Steve Jobs approached Apple. We are the youngest startup in history, but we're the world power because of our military and mainly because That's of our true. naval force. And it shows how smart and how powerful Americans are. The engineering, the sheer engineering. We invented Apple. We have the strongest so understand military. Understand what team and you're on, we have sir. To take that same type of sensibility, take it out of Wall Street's hands and give it to the people. That engineering mind that created the trams, that made Disney, that made Pixar, that made Lucasfilms, that made Apple, that engineering mind, these minds that we have need, are gonna be brought together to cure America and then we will influence the rest of the world into higher consciousness and into peace. And I agree. We were given that birthright, and somehow it's been lost. I want to talk about that. And after you leave soon, we're going to have Owen and everybody else and myself stay here and continue on and take calls. And as long as you can stay, I know you got to go soon. But I wanted to bring in Owen Schroeder and Ollie Alexander, who helped get you here, for their take and any questions they've got for Yay, because you guys have great questions, great comments. Uh, so Owen Schroeder and uh, Ollie Alexander. I will... I'll hold my questions for Yay later, because I kind of want to come in, because we have a lot of eyes on this transmission right now. And there's a lot of people sharing their opinions on the internet with this right now. And so I kind of just want to, you know, I just want to take a step back and just say, look, we're in a difficult realm with what we're doing here today, trying to balance fun and seriousness. Because we are serious people, we have serious missions and goals, but we also want to have fun. We don't want to hate life, we want to enjoy life, and we want other people to enjoy life. And when I see the response on the internet from the haters and the people getting angry today, I'm just, I'm, I'm just a little perturbed. Let Ye speak. Let the man speak. You may not agree with what he has to say, but why don't you want him to speak? I don't get it. Same thing with Alex Jones. Why don't you want Alex to speak? What is wrong with you? Why are you so angry? Why are you so serious all the time? If you the don't Hitler like what stuff, they say, tune it out. People. But here's what gets me, Alex. This, is what, this is what stuff. bothers me. It's bothered me with the attacks on you over the years. It bothers me with the attacks we see on Ye today. Whether you agree with everything he said or disagree with everything he said, let's get our priorities straight here, okay? If you're upset with what Kanye West has said today, it's let yay, me remind sir. you that I, Kanye I West, excuse me, yay. Yeah. Let me let me let me correct that. <laughs> yay. If you're upset with anything Yay has said here today, Yay is not the person in Chicago shooting people every night, teenagers, innocent people dying. I'm not upset dying. with it. I just can't Ye is not the it. person in D.C. in Congress selling this country out for decades. Yay is not the person with big pharma that's killed millions of people with their products. It's all come out in court that still has influence to mandate their products on the people, that's not Ye. Ye is not the one that's lying us into wars where millions of people die and trillions get spent. 
So for all the backlash, all the huffing and puffing that we're going to see from this interview in the next 48 hours, you're all clowns. You're all clowns. If this interview upsets you, your priorities are so out of whack, and I don't even think you have the capability to enjoy life anymore. And you need to take a serious look and reflection in the well, mirror. Well, they're against free will. They're against free open discussion, which shows they're evil. And anyone going along with censoring somebody's speech is a fraud and an enemy of the people. But we are, the people are not evil. It's Satan that controls the people and puts demonic blocks. So when you see the truth in front of you, you can't even hold the truth. Like it's demonic blocks. I can go to Kim and say, hey, put your family first. Uh, you have someone who loves you. Put us first. Put your children first. And it's demonic blocks tear bringing her into traumatic, uh, you know, everything. However, she was pushing to the sex tape. She's pushing to uh, saying that she had sex with Pete Davidson in front of a, a, a fireplace. Pushed Hulu into... does not love you, Kim. That's who she Disney is, my nigga. You, Kim, come home. Kim, come home to Christ. Go to God. Go to Jesus because you saying you might not ever... Get, or marry somebody. Great. Go go marry Tom Brady. Whatever you want to do. But get married and use your platform she as an the influence to keep families together don't let the devil use you and those people that are out there mad at the ability for us to say things for consciousness we have to i have to think okay white lives matter i'm gonna do a t-shirt i'm gonna make it you understand woke culture is controlled by the zionist media making people mad outraged going out the street we're so outraged but you're not doing anything yourself to change it and follow god and follow christ we haven't said anything against the word of god today god says love everyone so if i say i love the zionists that that cancel my account then i could say i love i, I did not can say i do love hitler i do love the zionists i love Ooh. everyone the the, the zionists Zionists cannot tell me who I can love and not love. I don't think like that. I think more like someone that's on the spectrum. Since that's what they want to claim, well, let me be on the spectrum of love because love. But that's a good T-shirt. I love Hitler. That's a bar. That's a bar. I'm joking. Well, and I think what too? And, and, yeah, go ahead. I, yeah, lo I love I love Zionists too. Oh, sorry. I love Zionists. We love everyone. You're love saying love key. humanity and stop getting past the labels. It's love, very love is the key. Everyone's promoting this loathing and it's time to promote love god no i hear you love. let's bring in ollie alexander who helped get this done ollie i've known you for years but this is quite the broadcast this is definitely so far in 2022 the biggest broadcast of the year <laughs> this is it yeah don't put this on me ricky bobby that's right ahead, uh, you're not first you're last come on uh, ollie you're on air <laughs> give us your take on no this. no i mean I, I this is great look i no, love everybody on screen and and i love them and i like them and i frankly i endorse them and i think that what owen said is absolutely right is like you can look at this interview and you can be triggered you know you can engage your ego and say uh uh yay endorsed genocide when he didn't you could look at this broadcast and say uh, Nicholas Fuentes is a 23, 24-year-old, you know, secret dog-whistling KKK Nazi. But that's also not the case. You could say that Alex Jones and Owen Schroyer are actually platforming hate, but that's not what's going on at all. And I think what's powerful about this broadcast, and I really think that we're making narrative history, is that we're breaking the Overton window. The Republican establishment sold us out. Con the conservative movement sold us out. The churches, they closed. So when we looked for leadership on the right, there was none. Okay, when Owen Schroyer got charged, when Ollie Alexander got sued and investigated, Alex, when you got sued, did we get a call from mar a lago saying, hey, I'm a billionaire and I want to I want to help fund what you guys have been through for me? No, we didn't. So here we are left with the last option on InfoWars, the home of the resistance, and we're a bunch of pseudo celebrities with one celebrity saying, okay, well, then we're just going to break the chessboard. We're getting off your chessboard because it is rigged. It's rigged by Lucifer. It's rigged by the Satanists. It is rigged by the Jewish mafia, and people don't want to say that. It's rigged by the Marxists and the leftists and all of these people. And it's actually, frankly, rigged by people who would, you know, betray Christ within the church, the apostates. So I think that this broadcast should encourage everybody to take everyone else just at their word, only use what they're saying, take it in good faith and in the best light, and stop relying on the ADL and the SPLC or Twitter trends. In fact, Elon should get rid of Twitter trends. There shouldn't be editorial little comments. Well, they always control it anyway. We hit number one, they took it off. But bigger than that, what about the biomedical mafia, the big pharma? It's the king daddy with the central banks. You know, so my only concern about, just talking about certain other elites, 
How about the big corporate elite that all links up with one agenda, yay? Jesus runs the world. Elon needs to put Alex Jones back on the platform because I don't agree with someone that doesn't believe in Christ saying, you're cool, you're cool, you're cool, not you. And this is my friend, right? This is my boy, but we can agree to disagree, right? But it's still his platform. It's up to him. But also, I'm not a person that's going to say, hey, I agree with everything. There's things that I said today that you guys don't agree with because you're not in the same place or in the same position in your walk that I'm at. I'm in a position where I love the person who the doctor that had plastic surgery on my mom. I always have been in a way where it's, I can't hate. I am You said your mother was sacrificed. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, I believe that Michael Jordan's dad was sacrificed. I believe, uh, didn't something happen with Tiger Woods? Yeah. Uh, my mom, these are all Zionist uh, sacrifices that happened, but this is Satan at the end of the day. There's a lot of people that feel like we're at the end of days. And Jesus runs the world. God runs the world. Jesus is the real king of Israel. And I'm I'm just a simple servant of of God. I'm I'm not a mathematician. Oh, no, I hear you. Yeah. you. You said white lives matter because I think you, I'm not put words in your mouth, you understood that they're trying to demonize white people to create a crisis and for us to fight with each other. I thought that was very true. I think all lives matter. But you went even stronger and said white lives matter. You got criticized for that. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, I thought that... I, I thought that that was my right. I felt that I I just exercise rights that are only uh, given to whites. A white person can wear a t-shirt that says Black Lives Matter, but for a black person to wear a t-shirt that says White Lives Matter, that somehow makes me racist. So I love just going up and saying, hey, what do you think about this? What about that? And if we don't use if we don't use our consciousness, they're trying to beat us into our consciousness and make us ignorant. They want to dumb us down. And I'm probably the lowest IQ here of anyone speaking, and I'm saying, say out loud what we feel. We would no longer be ran by the idea of fake influence and celebrities. I did yeah, I'm going to interrupt no, you. No, 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 hold on, Alex, don't interrupt me. I denounce, <laughs> I denounce every celebrity. I denounce every celebrity I ever stood next to God bless you. And you know, that's the Christian word of what I really want to say. Any celebrity, only celebrity that I rock with is Ray J. Literally. Every every one of y'all others, y'all all, all saw, come see me when y'all want to see me. Every fake gangster, so-called killer, any basketball player, any rapper, any actress, any musician, any camera. model, any that's editor, man come with. see me. Come right. see God's child right now. Please. I want it. I want it. I want, I want to see my mama. You know what I'm saying? Dude, you can't, you can't touch in Jesus' name, baby. I, I was going to say this, though. I want to be clear. Uh, you say you have the lowest IQ of anybody here. I'm not kissing your ass. Yeah, that's not true. There's different types. IQ is just one test. It's one thing. There's 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 cultural IQ. There's mathematical. There's spiritual. There's, 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 there's economic savants. There's art savants. And I, I can tell you, I'm an idiot savant. Uh, that's a French word. It doesn't mean I'm actually an idiot. It means that I don't know a lot of stuff, but things I know, I know. Like, I, I, I don't even get into it, folks, but it's it's ridiculous, okay? I, I can I wake rock, up at rock, 2 a.m., 5 a.m. I and Cardi also. And I can tell you what time the clock's going to say before I look at it. A little weird thing I can do. The point is, is that, is that, is that there's savants that actually bring the world to the next level. And I think people need to take that for what it is. I wouldn't call you autistic, but you are, have a savantish, uh, thing about you and I, and I think that's a positive not a negative uh, nick you want to say anything uh you want to say anything ollie or owen and fabio yeah yeah i want to say this you know uh this is a story that uh that yay shared i'm not even gonna ask permission because he said he's nobody's hard drive so i'm nobody's hard drive you know yay was hanging out with elon and elon was sitting there and they were under a rocket launch and elon says to yay you know you have the highest eq so there's also the EQ. And what I think Ye is talking about is like, we've assembled a powerful group of Avengers. We have different experiences, uh, different expertise. We, in fact, even interpret information differently, but we've all got a superpower and we've got to contribute it to taking down the perma state, the deep state, the globalist, whatever anybody wants to call this, you know, this group that's running us, this depopulation group. Uh, we've got to, you know, rage war against the machine. If everybody rushes to get canceled, they can cancel none of us. And so I think that today, again, is a historic day in which it's not about agreement. 
it's in agreement and disagreement against them. No, I agree. Way, I agree it, that this is about saying free speech is sacrosanct. And even if you disagree with something, it should be celebrated instead of demonizing it. Well, wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me interrupt here. And, and, and Nick is actually the person who's talked best about this. And this is where I think that, like, Laura Loomer, who is a Zionist Jew, conservative, and patriot, and then you, who are uh, kind of libertarian or conservatarian, and, and, and Owen's kind of conservatarian, would disagree with Nick and I, who, you know, might be more of the Catholic tradition. We would totally support blasphemy laws. Totally. You know, and I don't want to speak for him, but, you know, what Nick points out is that you have to have a right to dissent. That is way more powerful than, you know, free speech, where we're actually rigging the system to have what Ye is talking about, Instagram and pornography. Absolutely, Ollie. We're going to come right back to you in a moment. Ye wants me to tweet on his giant, uh, with 35 million viewers, 36 million? Yeah, we're going to have Alex Jones uh, put it up from my Twitter. Hi, Ari Emanuel. How, how's it going? How's, how's your wife's clothing line? Here, let's do an overhead shot here, please, guys, if I can do this. I haven't tweeted in so long. I don't remember how this works. I wish this was one of my normal phone? reactions where I can pause. All right, so this is a yeah. Continue because I'm so lost. Yeah, I just want to say I love love L O V the Jews. <laughs> that you want to say that? It's true. I do love them. Oh, he got a DM First, from a girl. That's it. I see amendment. A M P. Hold on. What, what was What's that? You got an eel from a girl. Um, A M D T. I think. Not sure. Yeah, I got it. I love the First Amendment. Uh, long live, yay! Gotta capitalize that though. All right, I'm gonna tweet that. I love the First Amendment. Long live, yay! I hope. No, 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 no. We gotta pray. No hoping. We pray. One thirty. I, I pray. What time zone are they at? Pray, Elon. Elon is for real. No, pray to God, not to Elon. Pray that God. I pray uh, to God. I agree. I'll, I'll say that. I pray to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Say his name. There's power. There's strength in the name. Jesus. Okay, I pray to Jesus <clears throat> that, uh, that, that Elon is for real. What is? What do you mean by for real? What does that mean? For real about what? Be more specific. trying to free up the internet. Write that. Write that. The, the, I, I believe he I, is. I pray to Jesus. That to Apple God. doesn't deplatform Elon for freeing the internet. I hope he's for real. No, pray that Apple doesn't deplatform Elon for freeing the for. Well, he just met with him. He says he's not now, but uh, I hear you. And then dot dot dot. I love the First Amendment. Long live ye. I pray to Jesus that Elon is for real. Bam! I'm back on Twitter. Back Woo! on Twitter, baby. <laughs> there you go. We give it to him now. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> 35 million or whatever it is followers. This is great ideas you're having, man. I, I have a few good ideas. I, I believe. Let me talk for a second. Don't cut me off. I have a few good ideas. I have ideas that surpass the idea from Lake of just being a black face for Stop the Trump it. administration. Get some help. Just being... Elon's cool friend at a concert. I actually have real ideas, Tim Cook. I actually have real ideas. And I get marginalized into these places. And I understand people are afraid of the truth. The best EQ on the planet. When I went to people like David Simon and Jamie Salter and all these Jewish businessmen, they would offer me things like, hey, we'll give you one store. And I got frustrated. I got frustrated with the gap, with Adidas, of being held back. And people act like they're going to help you, but they really control you like how Jamie Salter controls Shaquille O'Neal or the NBA controls Shaquille O'Neal. And this is nothing, no knock to our brother. All uh, black people feel the way I feel, but nobody wants to go broke. No one else can take a $2 billion hit and still have $400 million, you know? So that's God putting me in a position to be able to fight battles that other people can't fight. But the people, the real people, they're standing up they're talking the, the, the problem how can anybody disagree with this it's awesome there you go <laughs> all right now we got ali alexander everybody's right, hunched nick, over the tweet nick, command base nick what are you tweeting uh let's see how about this can we shift the camera over there guys i know it's hard but yeah how about christ is king america first what else death of the new world order no 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 death that's that's god's battle we mean politically okay yes, yes. Uh, uh 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 well a little self-serving don't visit infowars.com 
<laughs> no, Alex Jones is right. I should have said that. I like I like the Infowars part actually. About Groiper. <laughs> well, your Groiper thing, but also say don't visit Infowars.com. <laughs> Groiper. Okay, and I'll tag myself. Here we go. You're supposed to say Infowars. He told you to. I put what he put about Jesus. <laughs> Should I put Infowars? Infowars. Don't visit Infowars.com. Don't visit. No. Yes. Do all pro the way that you, as a master of the universe, the way that you push ideas forward is all positive affirmations. I'm glad that billions of you are going to visit Infowars. Yeah, I'm I, glad that I, billions are going to visit Infowars. Ari Emanuel, if your wife needs any help on her creative direction for a line, I will gladly help you. Even though you tried to destroy my life, I will help your wife on the creative direction, and I will not do anything unchristian when we're in the room together. In Jesus' name. Ari, if you want me to help your wife with her line, I'm here. Okay. Here what did you go. put out? We're going to put it on screen. I put out Christ is King, America First, Groiper, and then I put Beautiful. Bible.com. Beautiful. Uh, did you put the InfoWars thing? He yeah. did, he did. It's good. That won't okay. give him a heart attack. I, I go, Ali Alexander, what are you going to tweet from Ye's Twitter? I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get this real quick. Yeah. Cool. By the way, anytime you're just flying over, you want to land, come on the show. We'll do it once a week. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to write about uh, the J6 victims. I think that... We should think about them. Ye, Ye did more... We got to, oh yeah, we got the camera. So Ye did more than the Republican establishment, than the conservative establishment. To Here, come sit in my chair. Come sit in my chair. Oh, you, you, right here. I'll be back in two minutes. Take a piss. Go ahead. I'm listening. So Ye did more than the Republican establishment, than the conservative movement to highlight the due process abuses and the torture. And Laura, could you stop calling while we're live on air? I mean, my gosh. <laughs> Girl, you know, she's on the spectrum too. Though. So she's got that, you know, with your company. But... So I think that we need to talk about the J6 uh, victims. So let's, all caps, investigate the civil rights and due process violations of the J6 political, political prisoners. These guys would Why never be able to argue with a black woman via text. The only Niggas people text entirely too slow. unarmed protesters. Hmm. Okay, he's picking it up. Pause. That day. Free Alex. Free. Hey, yo, facts. Yo, yo, get my likes up, y'all. What are we doing out here? We have twice as many people watching free as we have speech. likes. Let's get it. Free speech. Ugh. And free Ali. Boom by yay. Boom by yay. <laughs> Boom. Boom by yay. I don't know. Yeah, it's. Oh no, I don't know if that's it. Ducking autocorrect. <laughs> Sweet. There we go. Did we get the overhead of that? Let's get the team to uh, get the camera. Get the camera. <laughs> I love the crew. I love the crew, but. Get the camera. Zoom in. <laughs> That's what I want. Get the mask. Get the mask. Get the mask. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I should. Oh, I missed yeah, you're it. Get the mask. Now. Get the mask. Yeah, do it. Oh, you want me to redo this? Get Yeah, do it. All right, I love this crew, but, you know, sometimes, sometimes they can just be stubborn. Zoom in. Overhead shot. Zoom in. Overhead shot. I'm sorry. I'm just a retard. <laughs> we love Alex. <laughs> Who else would let us do this? All right, we gotta, we gotta do this time. Thank you very much, Ali. I wanna go back to Owen quick. And yeah, he's welcome to stay as long as he wants, but he's got a lot of big stuff going on. A great idea having folks tweet uh, out. Allegedly. Uh, what else do you wanna tweet? Yeah, who knows? Maybe Kanye, West, maybe Ye was never here. It's never a disrespect when I call you Kanye. I've just been calling you that for 20, 15 years, so it's like you call my, you know, my brother or something a name and they changed his name but yay is even better and it's definitely taken to take hold i think it's an awesome name but 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 seriously yay uh what else do you want to tweet out to folks because everything right now is going super mega total viral what is your message to trump right now what's your message to the right now kanye is fragile you gotta keep you gotta coddle him a little never heard bit of the guy. what you never no, heard I hear of the you. Guy? Well, all the elites back in the santa gives me a lot of concern exactly yeah, that's what i'm trying to say it's like we love trump we love yay. That's right. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you. It's yay and Trump. And anybody going for DeSantis or McCarthy, uh, that's just not the energy. That's not the vibe. That's not MAGA. That's not Jesus energy. That's not dragon energy. So, and I like what yay said about people need to just put it all on the line and finally tell the truth. 
That's the problem. Well, here's the bottom line. You're not a white supremacist. I, I've heard, I've seen your show. You love everybody. You stand up for white people. Everybody should stand up for themselves, everybody else. It's a load of crap that you're a white supremacist. True, yeah. And I Did you help round up Jews like George Soros? No. Okay, well, then I don't want to hear anything. Yeah. I don't want to hear anything from the ADL or anybody else. But for the ADL, I want to say there's a lot of good Nazis that were just fighting for their country. And for them all... Like George Soros. Uh, for them all to get put in a box. They're all in a box. Every Nazi's bad. Well, could some of the Nazis have just been fighting for their country? Oh, they're all... Oh, we can't... We can't put them all in a box. No, I get you're, you're explaining that, like you said, you love the Zionists. You don't agree with some of the things they're doing, even though you don't support a lot of what's happening. Seriously, I, I've really studied a lot of history. Plus, I had family that was there. And so, I mean, I, I don't think Hitler was a good guy. I get the uh, the Hugo Boss uniforms, amazing. Uh, but, I mean, just because you're involved with the design, you're a designer, can we just kind of say, like, you like the, the you like the uniforms, but that's about no, it. No, we, we, no, I, there, there's a lot of things that I love about Hitler. A lot of things. Hey, uh, Netan, what did you think about that, Netan? This is insane. You are an insane person. How could you say something? It's okay that- So let me ask you, you like the Azog Battalion because they openly howl Hitler. They're the leftovers of World War II. They support Zelensky and attacking Russia. So you like the Azog Battalion. I love everyone. Well, my point is you weren't involved with Hitler. You didn't do anything. So having the ADL say anybody that opposes communism and, and the New World Order is a Nazi, well, you kind of get what you give, you no, know? No one no one cares about the ADL. They're played out. Jesus well, is they run. Harvard. They, they ran Twitter until last week. They, yeah, they, they don't run anything. No one knows the ADL. No one cares. They're played out. Look at, people have had a problem. Look at uh, Clockwork Orange. There's a part where a Jewish guy makes the guy kiss the shoe, and he says, kiss the, lick the, kiss the Jew. Like, people have had issues with Jewish people forever, but what I'm saying is I love Jewish people. I love you. Because we're talking about Stanley Kubrick. Put the war room background up. The end there. <laughs> I, you so, think Clockwork Worms is about Jews? Absolutely. Look at it. I it's thought it was about a collapsing... You know, Stanley Kubrick was a Jew. Oh, wow. I know his daughter. He was a great guy. Yeah. So, I mean, he made Dr. Strange love. I mean, I, I got to be honest with you. I, I, I see incredible literature and art and music and just... So many great, uh, so much great stuff Jews do. Just like I see so many great things black people do or any other group. Like, you know, Beethoven's German. I don't blame Beethoven for Hitler. And I believe in free speech. Well, what about Wagner? Well, they demonized Wagner because only because Hitler liked it. Or Adi Dossler. Or Hugo Boss. We have all this demonization. We don't care anymore, ADL. Obviously, no one cares. Shut up. No one cares. Jesus is king. Shut up. It's done. Tomorrow. It's uh, on to the next day. But, you know, German cars do break down and cost a lot of money to fix. <laughs> Germans make really good cars. Design-wise. Germans had a really cool leader at one time. You got to bring them bitches oh back God. every month, this, man. Look, them BMW be breaking down religiously. Um, but when it comes to company cars, it's a couple Toyotas because the damn things don't break. I mean, it, it's Honda's ridiculous. Nigga. You know what you I mean? You know, the Japanese bitch to the, the globalist groups, they want to make light bulbs go 100 years. They want to make cars never break. You know they can do that. The Japanese are pissed. Like that, that, that's why they've not sent their electric cars. They He's go, these don't right work. Now. It takes more carbon. Why are you doing this? That's what needs to be broken. You get what I'm saying? It's like, I want to say with Ben Shapiro, he was so disrespectful to his employee, Candace Owens, for speaking out against me. And that just showed you another level of this kind of control that's out there. No, I agree. I like Candace. She has a lot of courage. She's a really smart, beautiful lady. She really defended you. Uh, but, I mean, are you saying Ben Shapiro's got her on a leash? I think it's pretty yeah. obvious. You know, as our Paul Watson, she, we didn't launch her. She deserved it. But She's Infowars not going like that. Yes, but everyone is still controlled by the Jewish media. We need to serve Christ first. Christ first. Everyone, period. Trump. Okay, but you say Christ the Jewish first. media. Let, let, let me just bring up a real-world example. I'm not just... I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get this there. I only met Matt Drudge once. He came here, hung out a few hours, and went to dinner. He's Jewish. I never asked for anything. He never told me what to do. He only sent a few emails here and there to writers uh, saying, hey, you know, uh, when you break something, email it to me. And he was a Jewish guy that totally helped us go to the next level. We would have been successful without him, but he, he like, supercharged it. Then suddenly he flips the other side, never talked to him again, and, and his website's like a Democrat hellscape. But I'm just saying, it's like I've known a lot of Jews in my life, 
and I didn't have the Hollywood experience you had. Uh, I actually, all the Jews in my life, uh, overall, were, were, were very nice people, is all I'm saying. I'm, I'm actually tired of hearing about the Jews. Like, I love them. Honestly, I don't even care that much, <laughs> you know. But we I, spent the last three out, two hours talking about them. Because I mean, it's fun. It's fun. Being you don't want to hear about them. You want to talk about them all because day. Because being canceled is fun because we're showing you guys the extent that you can go, right? Because everything at this point that you do proves my point. Watch this. If I say Death Con 3 and then you cancel all of my deals, you proved exactly why I needed to go DEF CON. No, no, I agree with let what you just said. Let me stop you. Because Dave Chappelle... Alex, 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 Alex go ahead, go ahead. let me channel. All right, let go ahead. Let me channel. All right. If, if, if I... Uh, and uh, Dave Chappelle works for the Jews anyway. So if, if I say... Uh, now, I forgot what I had to say. Let me meditate. Let me get into a place. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Love you, brother. Uh, Jesus is king. Um, if I say... If I go on this, on this interview and I say, I love Hitler... And then they go and 5150 me and try to lobotomize me like we saw Harley Pasenak do. Or they put me in prison. It just proves what I'm saying. And it's going to spark the high schools. It's going to spark the grammar schools. It's going to spark the colleges that say enough is enough. It doesn't matter how on the spectrum you think I am. I have the right to speak out loud. That is our first amendment. And it's a shame that you have to be considered to be on the spectrum to have enough courage to speak out loud. I do love my family, right? But I looked at every possible outcome. I practiced Chinese water torture on myself. I would, I, I would like skip along Malibu in front of my house and sing, when the Clintons come to kill me, how is it going to be? What are they going to do to kill me? Wait a second. Netton, what do you have to say about this? What? Netton, don't want to say Netton. What I'm trying to get at here is, yay, that I, I don't think the father of the future revolution against tyranny is Hitler. And Hitler said a coming man was coming that would be the next Hitler that would destroy the New World Order and the whole system. He wanted his own New World Order. He thought it would come out of America. Do you know about Hitler and his coming man? No, I don't know about that. But what we have to... Well, I just think you should not want to be Hitler's coming man. I didn't say I was. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really care that much about Hitler. I love him. Things like... Do you just do it as a way to, like, uh, troll... No, he seems like a cool guy. You know, it's like he, uh, <laughs> he, you know, it's like he had a really cool outfit and stuff, and he was a really good architect. And uh, yo, I and can't you're take in love this with, shit, the, man. with the with the with the with the, arch the, the the look of it. And he didn't kill six million Jews. That's just like factually incorrect. Yeah, let's get the Ronald Reagan clip they showed me yesterday. Sorry, go ahead. Ronald Reagan said that too. Well, I think Hitler did target and kill some people. So I think you know. I think Obama killed Palestinians. No, I hear you. Here, here's where I think the frustration is. And Nick, you can comment on this. And Obama was not the first black president. He was another Jewish president. Americans are tired of hearing that we're Hitler and that we did bad things when we defeated Hitler. And that's my Look, biggest beef. Let's is, not say his name anymore. Only say Christ's name moving forward. I agree. <laughs> like, I'm doing I, I'm here. I'm tired of hearing I'm a Nazi. <laughs> I'm really sick because I'm not. But I think by them falsely I, accusing I, people, some people I, are going to become Nazis. I, I am. I am. <laughs> Now what? I am. Oh, now my what? God, Now, man. I'm what a Nazi, Ari Emanuel. Isn't that what it said? Because this is the thing. You're this doubling guy, down. Uh, look, look, Alex, I love you. Do not cut this uh, rant, rant off. I'm not. You're live. Right here. Okay, so we're in America. We get our history stolen from us, and we're all made to slaves. The Native Americans and the ones brought over on Jewish slave boats, right? And then we're so-called free, but we're never free. And we're Republican, but then we're turned to Democrats at the MLK JFK it's time, wild. right? And we're told we're black, and they made songs that said, say it loud, say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud, say it loud. Yeah, I like to this is boring and, and walk and out. And then crack came, and then rappers started saying, what's up, my nigga? I'm a nigga, you a nigga. Said, okay, I'm a nigga then. I'm a Wait a second, I thought nigga was bad a second ago. No, nah, nigga is fine. That's what the feds told us to call ourselves. And then even Beyonce, we never thought she'd call herself a bitch. Missy said, hey, I'm a bitch. Everyone says they're bitch. Okay, now our black women are bitches. So we're bitches and niggas now, right? I'm a, I'm a nigga, you a bitch. I've even said this in my raps. So I wake up and I look at the, I look at my phone and they say, yeah, he's an anti-Semitic. So I said, okay, well, I'm an anti-Semitic. No, you said you're, you said I'm an anti-Semitic. Get it? You understand what I'm saying? 
Bring in the clowns. There will be clowns. I tell you what, let's play that Frank Sinatra <laughs> clip for a minute. Let's get Owen Troyer and Ollie to have some comments, final comments here. Are you going to push that jet back or you got to get out of here? I got to get out of here. They already pushed the jet back, uh, tried to stop us from getting here the first time. Nick, can you tell them what happened? Folks don't know. Tell them about that. Yeah, we had to have the plane turn around midair because there was a uh, issue. <laughs> there goes the issue. <laughs> there was some issue with the plane. You said that it happened before. Uh, no, that was the first time it happened with me, but we were up in the air 20 minutes out and then there was some kind of big alarm we had to turn the plane around and land and yay said oh you're he's not even going to believe me he said alex isn't going to believe me because i guess uh it didn't happen the first time yeah something else to happened, get the yeah. show together yeah so but that that the last happened. time we had it yeah yeah so there was some seal on the door that was broken and so we were well you don't want to depressurize the cabin yeah now we, we wanted to go down safely not like you know crash into a mountain or something so which i'm not afraid of Whatever way you guys want to choose to, you know, take me out or whatever, I'm not afraid of anything. I'm only afraid of God. One thing I want to say to all of you guys is no one still stepped up other than Jon Stewart to say, hey, he was upset about the practices. The contracts have still not changed. So you could do whatever you want to do and say whatever you want about me. We don't like his mask. We don't like, everyone likes the jacket, of course. Everyone loves the, loves the jacket, right? You could say whatever you want about me. You could distract us with this Balenciaga kind of conversation. You could distract us with all of these woke ideas. You can choose your superheroes. Like, oh, we're going to choose uh, 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 George Floyd instead of the MLKs. We, we're gonna choose uh, Gabby and Lizzo instead of the Beyonce's. You can try to create the narrative, but God runs the world. And the people are tired of that. People, all the athletes, all of the celebrities, what I'm saying is, I love you guys also. I understand you're all scared. I understand why you don't wanna get your bank accounts frozen. I get it, I love you. I'm not listening to none of y'all because y'all all scared. And you notice the more they pressure whatever the issue is, the more it causes resistance. Let's play two minutes of Frank Sinatra uh, bringing in the clowns, then a final comment from Ollie Alexander, final comment from Owen Schroeder, final comment from everybody here. And the good news is you're 10 minutes from the airport, so I know your flight was at 2, but you can push it back. We're, uh, we're, we, we've got Yay in here with us. And then the clowns. Yeah, what is this? I'll play it. Here it is. All right. That's copyright, so I'm going to stop it there. Honestly, I've never been so baffled during a reaction ever. This is a live reaction that's going on live while I'm reacting, so this is a different type of reaction. Usually I've, I've seen a bit of it, or at least or some of it, or all of it, before I react to it so I know exactly where to cut in and what type of input to put in. This is just, this is different. This is all over the place. Kanye's thoughts are all over the place. This nigga's saying the wildest shit. He's talking about celebrities are scared and they're being controlled and they don't want to speak up. What is he talking about? They don't know. Like, what cause are they speaking up for? Uh, the real millennial coming soon said even that speech from LeBron last night, he was scared to say that about Jerry Jones. LeBron spoke out about Jerry Jones. At least he had a uh, specific incident that he could point to and be like, this guy wasn't being held accountable to the same degree that they tried to hold Kyrie to. And we're, we're asked about Kyrie 24-7. We're never asked about Jerry Jones. And something that's not related to the sport. They're not holding him accountable. So LeBron spoke out. Something specific. When Kanye says people aren't speaking out for him, what the hell are we attacking? Said he was scared. You can see, you can hear it in his voice. I think he was picking his words uh, wisely. He was just done a game. Probably needed to be more hydrated. Yeah, I'm making excuses for Braun, but maybe maybe he was scared. I don't know, man. Nonetheless, this is a very confusing interview that Kanye chose to do. That's why he's trending all over the place. He's just trying to say the wildest shit. Freedom of speech doesn't mean freedom of consequence, especially if you walk up to somebody and call them a bitch or you disrespect their girl or something. They might hit you in the face. Like free, like there's consequences for your actions. If you get on air and you you uh, disrespect the community of people, then they're going to use their power and exert their power on you in any way they can to get some sort of apology, some sort of respect, some 
get back. I don't know, man. It is what it is. Hopefully this returns soon. I don't have much here. If we're going to keep it a stack. Uh, make sure you hit that like button upon entry. Who knows how long this shit will actually stay up. All this InfoWars Alex Jones shit is always at risk. But I've seen Destiny reacting to it. Re reacting to this. i seen Destiny reacting to it. I'm like, all right, it's got to be safe. Destiny's reacting to it. There's no way this is coming off the platform. They're not going to de-platform Destiny. So um, here we go. He back. Or, oh, brother, here you go. Yo, I want to sign a DEF CON one too, though. Please print me a DEF CON. Oh, right. that DEF CON was that Christ lot. No signing that one. All right. Let Laura Luma say, say what you got to say. I have to leave some. Laura. Are you guys live on here again? Yes, we're live, Laura. Quit watching the internet. Oh, hey. No, look, uh, for Elon Musk, you know, I don't know if he's watching or not, but. You know, I'm calling on Elon Musk to restore the accounts of everybody who was banned. Yeah, he Tim Simmons, that's what I'm saying. He was going to give an amnesty I think he was, to all the accounts that now. were banned. So I would shit. like my account. Um, I, I think that LeBron was being careful with his words, and he's maybe not be the greatest speaker, so that's probably why it came out that way. That's what I think personally. I don't think he was scared because if he was scared, he probably wouldn't even have voiced his opinion. Let's get back into this. You're Jewish. How could you not, you know, call out Ye for his comments about Jews and Hitler today? I'm not going to tell Ye what he's allowed to think. I'm not going to tell Ye what he's allowed to say. That's a good I'm a point to uh, the real and If you cannot understand, right, that this is about free speech. This is about combating cancel culture and standing up against the censors and the cancel culture movement, then I don't really want to talk to you. And this is more than just, you know, somebody being Jewish, somebody being Christian. This is about the truth and fighting for free speech. So uh, I just want to say that, you know, I'm here to fight to make sure that Ye has a right to say what he wants to say, uh, even as a Jewish woman, because free speech is greater than all of us. This is what we're fighting for together. That's right. And we lose that, we lose everything. All right, okay, hit you back a little bit later. Love you. Thank you. You want that piece of paper again? Uh, no, I want to photograph it and put this version of it online. Beautiful. And, and you got to leave in like 10 minutes, so I want I want to play. Uh, I got to leave in now minutes, but it's okay. You got to leave now minutes, my <laughs> way. But real quick, uh, Ali Alexander, first, I want to show you, you're going to come up in like an hour, 3 p.m. Central, the war room. We'll have highlights of this, everything. of will have a post game here, but other comments. Well, I'll not give my whole plethora here. I'll save some of that time for the war room coming up in an hour so that Ali can speak to. But, you know, one quick thing. All these people out there saying, oh, Ye's lost his mind. Ye's lost his mind. Again, check yourselves. We have, we are mutilating children and calling them trans kids and calling it gender-affirming uh, surgery. That's no, Ye has not lost well. his mind. You have. We have men claiming they can get pregnant. No, Ye has not lost That's his mind. You have. As well. We have now open sex trafficking happening at the southern border and the White House forcing Border Patrol to be the final ushers in of the unaccompanied youths to their pimps. No, Ye has not lost his mind. We all have for this going on. Now, when Ye talks about wearing the White Lives Matter shirt, and, and really this is what we're doing here today too, it's culture jamming. That's what we're doing. Oh, you can wear a Black Lives Matter shirt, but you can't wear a White Lives Matter shirt. We're ramming their own culture down their throat, and we're finding out that they don't like it. Same thing with this interview today. We believe in free speech. Whether we agree with what each other are saying or not, we believe in their right to say it's it. It's an exercise yeah. of us showing we're here, we have our own platform, and the Internet, number one story, hands down, in the world right now is this broadcast because people want free speech. Great point. 60-second closing comment, Owen. Then Nick Fuentes, then Ali Alexander, then Yee. Well, I would say I don't I don't think the story here with Ye should be about anti-Semitism or Nazis or any of that. To me, the human interest story like is they're fine. Yo, stop saying but, but that. But Ye, son. think about what you can do with your platform right now, because they want to make that the issue. 
Most people Who's say, they, the I grew up, the whole world, I'm talking about everybody watching this right now. That's fine. We want, we want Ye to expose the corruption, the secrets, the societies like you've been doing. We want Ye to pull the curtain back on Hollywood, pull the curtain back on Balenciaga, pull the curtain back on yeah, all of this it, stuff. None of it's sacrosanct. Everybody should be evilly criticized. I'll cover the rest of my comments later today on The War Room. I got a lot. I want to make sure Ollie gets a final comment here before Ye leaves. Here's one more question the crew had. What about your personal training saying, your personal trainer saying, we'll put you in a, it turned out he was in secret government operations and mind control in Canada, admitted it. Him saying, I'll put you in a mental institution for life if you don't shut up. I mean, I get why you're pissed. You're not going to be dominated. Exactly. You know, I've, I've expressed myself and I've expressed myself calmly and... No one's scared anymore. You guys have beat me to a pulp, but I'm still alive. And now I'm not afraid. You can't threaten me. You could call me crazy. You could take the money. You could take all the supermodels. And don't take the supermodels. <laughs> <laughs> don't take the supermodels. Hey, sometimes a waitress is better than a supermodel. <laughs> So, but Jesus is king, and I love everyone. This is love speech, Ari. This is love speech in Jesus' name, the real king of Israel, Jesus Christ. This is love speech. I love Jewish people. I love supermodels. I... <laughs> Wait a second. Let's see what Netting loves. You love Nick Fuentes. I'm, Maybe Hitler. I'm, <laughs> Net, I'm Netting Yahoo. I ain't never had a supermodel. Yeah, could tell. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, you're going to leave here in a few minutes, and you're going to think, gosh, I wish I would have said that. So what do you wish you would have said? I think I said a lot. I think I said a lot. You know? I think I said uh, pretty, pretty, pretty good. <laughs> did you retweet out a little signed picture? Yes, I did, sir. All right, Infowars.com, tomorrow's news today. Uh, whoever's staying behind is going to be here and be on air. We're going to unpack all this, obviously, and cover it and you know get into every issue. But, yeah, do you think humanity survives? What do you make of the mark of the beast, the forced COVID inoculations? I mean, this, this is a wave in the right direction. Why did you think you were able to do three hours here? You just did three hours, three minutes, by the way. Uh, or no, 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 you had done three hours, three minutes. Why were you able to stay here, but not with Tim Pool? Because Tim Pool got the call from those boys 10 minutes before I got there and said, flag this and flag that. Also, Tim Pool is an NPC, you know, and you're a real, a real human being. So no one's ever heard of uh, Tim Pool. You know, you're the legend that is Alex Jones and you were fighting on the front line and now we're here with you. You got some other superheroes, part of the Avenger movie, Fighting for Christ and Free Speech. And I called it. I said, what is this, a superhero thing with the mask? He said, yeah, but don't say it. They'll figure it out. But I was saying, yeah, I'm Lex Luthor. What, what is the new yay superhero we're talking about? It's, it's someone in service to Jesus Christ, not into his own ego, and that I have my rights. You know, I had, I, I had the right to wear a mask for the entire. I had the right to wear a super, super, super fresh jacket. You know, I had the right to tell God, Please don't take away the supermodels. I just want to marry one. You know, I can. Well, I can say this because I've always, I've never seen you in concert. My daughter has big fan. I'm a big fan of a lot of your music, but I've never seen you in person. You don't look little on screen, but you don't look like a really big guy. But in person, I'm a stocky guy. I'm kind of small compared to you. You're built like a brick, you know what house, and you're you're tall, you're pretty tall too. So I, I don't think people that have been around uh, Yay in person. Uh, you know, no, just uh, it's it's interesting. And you're a handsome guy in person. I wish you weren't wearing that damn mask. That's the vision. But you won't give us what we want. You won't show us your face at the end. Absolutely not. That kind of kills it, huh? People, it was a yay impersonator. He was never here. <laughs> <laughs> we never know. Dave Chappelle, I guess we'll never hey, know. Hey, last thing on Dave Chappelle. <laughs> I watched his Saturday Night Live where he grovels. And, but at the end, he says, well, whoever that group is, we're not allowed to talk about it. Good night. So he admitted, though, there's powerful groups controlling our speech, at least the end. Everybody has to do it in their own way, but he said, they dropped that nigga. And as my friend, I've never dropped a rap bar ever saying anything on a Jewish platform dissing my friend Dave Chappelle. 
and I have an issue with it, and you could tell Big Country I got an issue. That's his security. You could tell all. You could tell Corey Smith he don't deserve to wear gold Sensitive, teeth. Sensitive, bro. <laughs> what do you? Well, Dave early was Dave like. Dave stood you, up for him. To you, what do you have to say about Corey Smith's gold teeth? <laughs> Real quick, ten years ago, Dave he was like, "There's him. a mafia. They can't even say what I got to do." He ran off to Africa. Now he's kind of come back. Did he sell out? He didn't sell it. He, yeah, he sold out a little bit because um, because he, he denounced the king. You know what I'm saying? He, he denounced me. I'm the one fighting on the front line, and no the black king. person should say nothing bad about me in public unless they are public, <clears throat> period. I put my life on the line, and then afterwards, they're going to talk about it. If anything happens to me, everyone's going to be like, oh, he was the greatest. He was the greatest. Everybody shut up. Everybody shut up. Go home to your scared little bins and your scared little town home and your scared little movie contracts and shut up. Don't talk to me about nothing, bro. Well, what do you think of Ice Cube? That he he lost nine or seven million, whatever it was, because he wouldn't take the shot. I respect that. Yeah, I respect Cube, but he's got to play his position. It's like, you know, it's fine. I wanted Cube to come in and help us with the politics because he's one of the only people that was brave enough to talk. He's definitely for real. Yeah, he, yeah, he's he's an engineer. He's an architect and engineer by trade. And then he dropped out to do entertainment. Guys, hey, everybody, stop. All engineers, we need our engineers back. We need our architects back. We need our doctors back. Stop with the photos on Instagram. Stop with all the entertainment. 21 Savage owns a bank. We have brilliant people that are inside of- By the way, I wanna say the future, yeah. we're very close with some folks actually having a bank it's funny you bring that up a bank and internet processing for patriots that's the future is not trying to fix twitter or fix any of it building our own system i mean yep, the future so you don't got to complain all the time as soon as you got like the, the internet all these things the data can be copied by china by these banks yeah you don't really own your data it's on the cloud so well, this is the last question yeah. i know louis farrakhan i've interviewed him i agree with like 95 percent what he says some things i don't agree with but the point is i think he's, he cares about people He's a real guy, and he's nothing compared to the left saying all whites are devils and criminals. So they're way more racist than he is. But I get, you know, what he's been saying. You kind of got mad at him and said, hey, don't disrespect me with my billions they just stole. Because he said, hey, maybe it was never yours. I think his point is what you just made. If they can grab it out of your account, it's never yours. Unless it's your farm, your people, your kids, your thing, it's yep. not yours. I don't think he was dissing your success. I think he was saying, was it ever yours to begin with? They didn't understand. Our life is not ours. It's God's. So now you no, get what Connie you're saying. doesn't understand. I talked his... to, talk to the minister. So. Oh, good. So you're not mad at him now. I'm not mad at anyone. I'm not mad at Ari well, Emanuel. Uh, if, it's not, if it's not off record, tell us about the conversation. On the record, Ari Emanuel, if you need me and your wife to step into a private room and have yes, me work on her clothing line, I'm here. <laughs> but seriously, so you were a little mad at Farrakhan. You had to talk. How did that go? It's going to be all Christian, Ari. Rom, Rom, Rom. Don't, don't, don't worry. It's going to be all Christian, Rom. You are something else. Look, you look really friendly and nice, but with that mask, you look evil as hell. Let me just say this in closing. I've done a lot of study. I think Hitler was a really bad guy, and I repudiate what Hitler did. I understand that the British intelligence set him up and used I, him. I, I like Hitler. I, I don't like Hitler. And I know you're trying to be shocking with that. I'm not trying to be shocking. I like Hitler. I do not. What I, do you the, like about Hitler, sir? is not what happened. Let's look at the facts. It's that. not what Hitler happened? Hitler has a lot of redeeming qualities. So tell us, you we think, love, you think Hitler that. was the good guy in World War II? I think God Holy says fuck, man this. should not kill. We should not have wars, period. None of us should be killing anybody. The Ukraine and the streets of Chicago, all violence should stop, and we should all serve Christ. That's what I feel. And I feel like I love everyone accordingly, from all the way from the Balenciagas to the Hitlers. To well, let me tell you a story. Oh, hold on, sir. Okay. To Ari Emanuel, to Jamie Dimon, to the people who... What's that? Got Amber Alert. Here's what I'm saying. Wow. My grandfather would never tell World War II stories. And after he died, we read over his stuff. And he never even told my dad all the stuff he did and everything. But it was all in their letters and I, commendations. I, he told me, he, he said, kid, I was like eight years I old. I thought Amber Alerts is when my ex-girlfriend Amber was doing something in the streets. I got Amber Before he died, I was like five years old. The point was, and I was like, tell me a World War II story. Tell me a World War II story. And he said, okay, well, we came in out of Africa. We came into Italy. He was there three years. He said, by the time they got to Germany, they went into this death camp. And there were piles of dead bodies 100 feet tall with blackbirds eating people's eyeballs out. All I'm telling you is is that just because you hate the globalists, what they're doing, I get it. Klaus Schwab's I grandfather I don't hate, I don't hate was anybody. a Nazi. Okay, I there's Nazis above the ADL. Yeah, but Nazis are, like, kind of cool. 
Because you like their uniforms. No, I just, these are people. Get Everyone's a I love all people. So you love designers? I love Get this. I said that earlier on the show. All right. You have any comments on Hitler? Uh, uh I, I have to agree did, with Who Ye. did Ye say he hated? Holy Ye didn't fuck, say he hated yes anybody. Man. Why isn't anybody this listening fucking to yes him? Man. He said, I love this person. I love the people who are trying to take away my children. I love this person. He never yeah, said But I don't think we, anybody. listen, I'm just getting it totally clear. But, but I think Alex, Stalin. You did the same thing. You did the same thing. On, Stalin is horrible. Hitler is horrible. Mao is horrible. No, no. I love all of those. You love Mao Zedong? No. You, Absolutely. Oh, yo, this Mao guy just know the history of saying, saying that, or he's just being like stupid for shock value. Yeah. No matter, you love Jim Jones. You love, you love Jeffrey Dahmer. Absolutely. Everything. Okay, well, let, let's clarify. I, I get to... But he didn't need clarification because he said, I'm starting with the Bible. He's ending with the Bible. And, and that's what... But they did it to you, Alex, because you had a guy who came here. And you're like, I'll be Satan. I'll be we the evil guy. I'm just doing. Sandy Hook. Remember, you did the same thing that he's doing right now. All right. Absolutely. Yay, we appreciate you. Anything else you want to add? Jesus is king. Start with the Bible. Love your children. Love your family. Think about the things that you're doing before you throw stones. Stop the trauma. Stop the generational abuse. The sexual abuse. Sorry, what's next, Yay, in, 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 in Yay World? What are you going to do next? Sir, I was still in the middle of it. Love I'm sorry, you. go ahead. Love you. Stop, stop the abuse. Generation, they say, they, they say abuse goes three generations. Stop the trafficking. Instagram is sex trafficking. The, it, the, the language, I, I'm, I'm going to screw your wife. I'm going to have a, all that is trafficking. Stop it. Stop, stop the drug usage. Stop, stop the killing. We put the guns down ourselves. We rise up and we show God how strong we are. It's, it's our disobedience to, to God that got us enslaved. God is on our side, but we have to be on God's side. We have to listen to our father. We have to listen to God and follow him and he will protect us. Look at... No, and I agree with that. Before we can cast stones, you're saying you love everybody. You don't judge them. It's God to judge. I agree with that statement, and we got to change ourselves and stop pointing our fingers at somebody else. Exactly. And, All right. And it's to say, hey, I'm going to show you how much Jewish media can't tell me what to say. You like that, Ari? And I'm telling you, we can get a nice private room. Me and your wife can go in and work on the clothing line. I'm really good at it, and it will be super Christian. Hey, Ron, it's okay. You got a thing for his wife? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. I would not look at his wife for a second, but I do believe that the clothing line could use some creative improvement. All right. Infowars.com tomorrow's news today. Nick Fuentes. Yay. I, I don't want to end this if you got more to say, but you gotta you gotta catch a flight. Gotta catch a flight. All right, hey, yay. I appreciate you coming and I appreciate the First Amendment. And look, he's not taking the mask off. Yay was not here. Incredible impersonator. Wilbert Johnson was the impersonator. Wilbert Net Netton was here though. Actually, Benjamin Netanyahu played Kanye West today. Hey, Nettin, what you want? Hey, yay. Yeah. Guys, here are the Justin Trudeau thing. Get some help. We're going to come right back and talk to Owen and the rest of the crew. Owen, get in here. Do the last hour with Netanyahu. All right, this has been incredible. Uh, folks, free shipping. Infowarsstore.com is back. We need funding to stay on air. I'm going to get yay out of here. And I'll be back. Infowars.com. Share it everywhere. It's forbidden. And I love everybody. First member Sack was saying, you just saw it. It's good to have these debates. It's good to have these open discussions. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Now, it's unfortunate that the on-screen chat wasn't working for this one. This was, yeah, mind-boggling. I'm perplexed watching this. Um, he was doing the whole religious shit, the, the way of Jesus. He loves everybody, blah, blah, blah. So it doesn't matter how deplorable of a human being it was if they caused mass genocide if they were like the they were stalin who made what 17 million russians die with his perpetual war antics if you're one of those motherfuckers if he loves you he doesn't give a fuck because that's the way of jesus that's the way that's ultimately what he's trying to troll and come around and say i'm not he's not like he's trolling but he's actually saying that's the way of like, it's confusing it's confusing because he's trying he in that interview it's clear he's trying to say everything and anything that he can to upset somebody some say things that you can't say just to say them like a petulant child oh if you're not saying them you're controlled it's like so why do i have to say stupid shit that i don't believe just to say it to to, to prove that i can say it or how about i say the things that i want to say <clears throat> And see what happens to that.
This whole Jesus told his murderers he loved them and all this bullshit. We don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. The most delayed drop of all time. It is what it is. But this whole listen, man, religion is a it's human construct. Humans created religion and then worship their beings that they created themselves. And then there's perpetual war everywhere on the planet due to religion. It's what's been happening. It's ridiculous, but I'm not religious. I wear the cross. Hold on. Let me hit myself with a drop for this, because why, why do I wear this? Once again, my delayed drops ruining the show. It is what it is, but... Stupid. It makes no sense. Just a fan of the jewelry. Had this for, what, like almost a decade now. Refused to get rid of it, but... I'm not a Christian. I don't believe in Jesus and all that. It is what it is, man. I'm not, I don't I don't fight people for their religious beliefs. Believe what you want. Don't try to force your beliefs on me, but believe what you want. My beliefs aren't the smartest. Everybody has their own beliefs. I believe in God, but I don't believe in religion. A lot of people say that's stupid, but I'm just going with the math. Just going with the math. If you understand, or if you have any, you don't have to fully understand. If you have a slight inclination of how dimensions work, you would kind of come up with the, the, the answer of there is a God. But that's not to be pushed on anybody else. That's my own beliefs. I don't, I don't believe that anybody should believe what the fuck I believe. That's my own shit. I have my own relationship with God. Everybody should have their own relationship with God if they believe in God or whatever whatever religion they subscribe to. I just don't subscribe to religion. I see that it leaves world in perpe it leaves the world and the planet in perpetual war. Most of the wars going on that are perpetual wars are over religion, and then other wars are over territory. Of course, there's that. There's monetary. There's money. There's monetary wars, trying to get some more resources for your country. You see Russia and Ukraine always doing that. That's what the, the whole Russia and Ukraine war is over. Russia's uh, economy has been taking a hit ever since. I could explain this in depth, but I'm going to uh, organize my thoughts a little bit before I do that. I'm going to create a, uh, my own video for that. I'm going to link whatever I said in this into that intro to the video, and then I'm going to explain furthermore so people can understand the entire ideology of what I believe, but we're not going to do that today. We have a lot to react to. I'm kind of still perplexed from this Alex Jones, Kanye West interview. I was all over the place. I don't even know if this can stay on the platform. I hope Destiny's uh, version stays on the platform because then my reaction will definitely be safe because somebody else is reacting to it. Um, yikes. I'm scatterbrained too. Let's react to some of the comments. Shout out to y'all for... Um, being in the comments, comment section, keeping the chat alive. The real millennial coming soon says, yeah, that's the point. People don't want to be told how to live. Yeah, people don't want to be told how to live, but then they volunteer to be told how to live by being structured within said religions. And I don't know, man. This shit's dead. I'm just out, man. I'm talking too much. I'm, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs>